But anyways, yeah, uh, welcome. Uh, we are going to probably finish up uh, Super Metroid today. Um, I hope this isn't too early or too weird. I mean, it is noon, noon 12. That's that's the time, correct? It is currently noon 12 Eastern Standard um, over here where I live in this place called uh, Oif. Um, so uh, hope you are doing well. I am uh, I'm doing pretty all right myself. And uh, I'm just going to get into the game and uh, hopefully finish up the the soup or the Metroids. Either or is fine, uh, really. And that is the fourth stream in a row that I have made the exact same joke uh, because I am original with my sense of humor. You understand, don't you? Also, this is a little loud in my headphones. Uh, I'm going to turn things down. I kind of boosted the fuck out of my audio settings last time because of uh, Rhythm Heaven and needing to, like, get the music where I needed it. Um, but yes, uh, welcome. Last time we got to that point, uh, we only have a little bit of game left, so I am I really do imagine that this will, in fact, be the finale. But I do also imagine that I'm probably not going to be 100%ing this game. Uh, I might. I might. Still. But I don't know. Last time I was very tired, but got very frustrated at the way that the, uh, the moon jump thing works. What's it called? Space jump? The... It, it, I don't know what about it was last time, but I got really frustrated uh, with the way it, like, controls. We'll see if that was maybe me being extremely tired or if it does kind of control kind of clunkily. I, I don't really know at this current moment, but um, we'll see. I have half of pretty much everything that I need in order to get the 100 percent. So I'm not exactly convinced that I will be. Because uh, that could really prolong this stream if I decided to do that. Uh, I do need to give myself some boosts on the audio here, though. I just turned my headphones down. I think what I actually need to turn down is how much monitoring on my mic I'm doing. Yes, we will save the baby! Truly the best Mother's Day gift is uh, Samus saving the child. Um, so we need to get down there. That is the Riddler in the flesh, as far as I'm aware. How we get there, I'm unsure, but there's a couple of rooms here that I haven't fully explored, it seems. Uh, so may maybe I can uh, entertain the idea a little bit of uh, exploring a little bit more. I have no problems exploring, it's just... You know, if if I'm gonna have to be expected to be really good at this uh, this moon jumping bullshit, that's when the problems might start arising. Only for me. The other thing is, uh, yeah, there's still a number of uh, of co of secrets out in the world where. Uh, it's not so obvious what I have to do to get them is the other reason why I might not 100% this. Uh, Dread, I was really only able to 100% because the game like deliberately is like, hey, there's a thing here in every situation. In this game, it's got the little white marks on the map, but that doesn't always exclusively like, let you know about every one, right? Like, it won't let you know that there's a secret block that you forgot to, uh, burst or something. Uh, oh, right, yes. I'm, I just want to explore, uh, this area up here and see why this one room at the top is, um, not filled in on the map all the way. I do have gravity suit, though, so I don't even have to worry about the lava now that I'm thinking about it. Um, 
I'm trying to think, are there any other rooms that I've been to where there was just a shit ton of lava that was like preventing me to progress? I mean, there was the one below me, which heads towards Ridley, but other than that, for the entirety of the game, I don't know if I can think of anything where like lava was like a problem. Um, so yeah, this is probably just gonna be me brain dead exploring for a couple of minutes trying to figure out where to go. And then we'll go down f and fight the Riddler. As for commentary, uh, fuck if I know what has happened in the last fucking bit of anything. Um, there, w there was a couple of things that happened the other day, actually. Um, and I didn't really get a chance to talk about them because of, uh, you know, streaming Rhythm Heaven. And that, that, that just basically made it so it is impossible for me to, like, do all the fun things. All the fun things. So what? What's going on here? Okay, so there's. Oh, okay. So, literally, this map being not filled in here was uh, useless information. Okay. Wonderful. Wow! Wow! Wonderful. Okay. I just wanted to see why that map wasn't filled in. Who knows? Maybe there was a secret or something. Maybe I've already missed the secret, and it was there after all. Or maybe the secret is in the eye of the bee holder. This is a bee. Take my word for it. I held the bee. Um, there was a room over there. Yeah, the gravity suit gives me immunity to lava, which is, uh, nice. Uh, how do I get back down? Hey, you know, I just went through here. And I've already forgotten how I got down. Can I go down here? Or... No, I think I had to come this way. And then down. What the fuck is that? What did I just do? I... Since when have I been able to do that? That which is accidentally discovering more abilities in this game. So if you charge up your thing and then go into the morph ball, you just burst a shit ton of bursters. What the fuck? What is even the application of that, though? I guess, like, damaging bosses? But... I, I don't even know if that's, like, effective. Probably been able to do that since I had the charge beam, honestly. So, that's wonderful. Yeah, great! Yeah. I guess that's how the game really wanted you to learn about some of these deeper mechanics. Press 47 in chat if you learned how to sh um how to do the 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 one health recovering spark thing all on your own. From accidentally pressing LR and having exactly 10 ammo. 69. Good answer. We're comedians here today. Oh yeah. You do You do need this thing. Even if I came here with the gravity suit, I wouldn't have uh, found success. Because you need this thing. I really... Yeah. Alright. <laughs> it, it still does control like fucking beans on toast. I thought maybe coming back in a new day. It's a new day, everyone! Would, like, help me learn how this thing controls, but it, it's, kind, it's kind of a little jank. Just, just a little bit jank. Hey, Nat, how's it going? Okay, so from here we can go down and left. Okay, save room. That's good. Yes, we need to save all the progress I've made where I've looped around in circles. Just DM'd you the thing. Ah, yes, the updated emote. Ah, uh, let me... Let me check there. Oh, okay. Um... 
Let's go. Okay. So, for context for other people uh, watching, I'm trying to recommission the Dunban emote here and make it, like, not be just a screenshot from the game. Um, Nat, if you can, take the left eye and, like, just, like, stretch it down a little bit. Not, like, enlarge it, but, like, just, like, stretch it down. And then from there, I think it would be perfect. It's been going to screw up Genshin Impact up the behind. Um, his left eye. Sorry. Uh, ooh, this music. I didn't. Oh, so this is a Super Metroid song then. Okay. See, I, I originally heard this song in uh, Metroid Prime initially. So this is like Lower Norfair then, is this song? Wait, is this... Oh, this root beer is like super root beer. I didn't even notice. So you, you can't be in this root beer. Truly. A Barks moment when I've seen one. Oh, this music is uh, wonderful, actually. And having like full stereo in my uh, headphones is kind of even spicier. Um, this room looks like it's painful. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to be in that one. I guess maybe there's a further suit upgrade that gives you even more immunity? I didn't, I wouldn't think so though. Oh, this place is fucking hell though. Oh boy. No, not, <laughs> not not the right eye, the left one. The other one, the one you made big. The one that's already big, make it large, you know? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm bad at explaining. I, I can probably explain this better uh, off stream and show you what I mean at some point. Oh, fuck. Fuck! Uh, so what's going on in here? We got like brains on the left and right. Fuck, freeze your ass. But I mean, what has also been happening uh, with the news lately in the video game world? Other than like people coming out about Nintendo being uh, apparently not super cash money to work for in NOA. I, I don't really know what there is to talk about and I don't even know if I really have anything to say about that shit. Cause I mean, from what I'm understanding, it, it makes sense why the company is the way that it is. But apparently like Reggie came out and was like, this wasn't the what the Nintendo I left or some shit. Uh, okay, well that's one way only. So, we're not going this way, then? So, we're fucked. Right? How do I get down to Ridley? Yeah, like that. That, that is a little better. And you know what? One more thing. One more thing. If you can take the left side the leftmost side of the eye and move it just away from the hair, I think by just like, just a smidge. Make it more like long than wide, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, for, for those people who don't see like what Nat is sending me on Discord, this is gonna make no goddamn sense. Um, I don't really know where to go from here though. Because that way seems like a dead end. This door is... Being weird. Is there a way down from here? Get out of my way. Oh, this dude will block my shot unless it's a charge beam. 
fucking crazy space pirate. Is that? Oh, okay. Super bombs in here. Yes, that was my first instinct. Of course it was. Mmm. Uh, what is happening in this room? Oh, the root beer is rising. Mm, the cream, it rises to the top. Uh, well, that is also not the way to go. So then what the fuck? Hmm. Hmm. Thinking about... Uh... It's okay. I can do that, at least, to get it out of the way. This screen shaking is kind of... It's kind of terrible, isn't it? Oh! Ow! <laughs> That's kind of, uh, awful. Uh, that screen shaking. Um, am I supposed to do, like, a shine spark to the left? Or to the right, I mean? Oh, nice vibration you got there. The problem is I don't really have the room to, like, build up the momentum for that. Hmm. Is there a way to... Enter this room from a different direction? Yeah, because I can't, uh... I can't open that from this side unless I do some, like, bullshit. The fuck? I don't know what the speedrun trick... There's, like, a, apparently a trick to, like, shooting your missile through this wall and opening it from this side anyways. Uh, I don't know what that is. Also, the game clearly doesn't intend for you to do that. Yeah, see, that do that other door doesn't open fast enough for me. Unless, can I get the momentum needed from, like... Oh, I think I... Did I have it there for a second? I couldn't even tell. I, like, took damage from something. I don't know what that was. No. I, I don't think I have the room to do the, the jump thing. And if I continue going down that way, I'm probably going to die. So, back up we go, I guess? I'm not really sure where else I would go, though. Is there... look for ways down, maybe? I mean, you can make the root beer disappear. That's nice. I do like eliminating all root beer. The root beer punisher. That is me. I will vanquish all root beer from the tips of the icebergs down to the bottom of the ocean. There will be no more root beer. Just like Ringo Starr wants no more fan mail. That fire is... Poop. Poop fire. Uh, can I grapple under the ceiling here? There's a weird ceiling architecture. No. Um... Chat, I've got no fucking idea where to go from here. Because this is just going to kill me. If I go that way. I don't think the game wants you to tank damage for it, right? Yeah, there's there's jack shit over here. Uh, well, I don't know. There is super bomb. And a, a Torizo. Are you going to just throw me back into the lava, though? Because I, I don't got the energy to withstand that. Or you're going to lower the lava. Okay. Well, that's a little dumb that the game wanted me to, like, tank some damage there for a second, but alright, whatever. He with draining power. Unlimited 
draining power! Um, more like the, uh, the second one you sent me, or the, the most recent one, Nat. I think that most recent one is kind of perfect, actually. Um. There we go. I, I don't think there's anything left to change with it. Honestly, that looks pretty good. Um, I won't add that into my channel, though, until I pay you. Uh, which I'm not gonna do in the middle of my stream. Um. Uh, but I will get on that after my stream ends. Because, uh... I, 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 don't, I don't use emotes for free. Add it whenever. No! I must pay first! Fuck! <laughs> God damn it! They baited me with that fucking missile right there. <laughs> Uh, oh god. Oh good, another one of you. Well, he's back. He's back and ready for quaction! Oh god, I had no- I was not ready for this at all, I have like no health. Chat! I don't- well, remind me again, one more time, how do I do the, the, the thing? I also have E-Tank reserves though. How do I do the... Oh god. The recovery thing. Alright, so that gave me... How many tanks? Two tanks. The two tanks! And no ass! Yeah, I thought that was gonna be easy. I thought the game was giving me some freebies at the end of the game here. Here's some free missiles, buddy. Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, this is my Super Nintendo. It cannot process all these graphics. Oh, did I, did I actually just do that first try? Both angle buttons down on the D-pad and fire. And I need, like, less than 50 health on one tank, and then less than, or, like, more than 10 of every ammo, right? That's the other thing that I need for it. I'm, uh, I'm a little surprised I got that first try. Especially considering how, uh, low damage I was for that. Fuck. All right. Uh Come on. Come on. You can do it. Samus. Samus, I believe in you. Oh. Wait, there's really nothing up there, huh? Can you use that in the air? Wait, what is the button for it again? My brain is now forgetting X. No, you can't use it in the air. Is that is there nothing up there? No, there there is stuff up there. There's a super missile up there. How do I get that? That seems to be one way only though. So not yet. Oh. Oh. Oh, that, that's, that's how you're gonna get it. You're gonna get the screw tack. Oh. Mmm. Nice. Nice bacon, egg, and cheese you got there. Oh, listen to that noise. Now, every time I jump, I get to hear that. Yeah, I still think that the, uh, the screw attack space jumping in this game is a little janky though. Like it's really unresponsive. Like I, I press the button like about three times before it like will actually like do the thing that I'm telling it to do. It's not really a like it's not terrible because you don't really need to do it a lot. Uh but it is it is a little stinky. 
That's what I'll call it. Hey, Stinky! Now, if I can just get back up there, then I'd be a rootin' tootin' son of a bitch. You! Come on. Come on! Nope. Nope. Not going up there. Nope. I, I just want to see if I can break these blocks. But now I, I can't get... No. Okay. The answer is no. <laughs> Eventually I might get the hang of this. So wait, what type of blocks can I break then? Just like standard breakable blocks. Oh. Okay. And then I guess with this... Oh, here's an energy recharge. That's very handy. Thank you. With this, I guess I'll be able to... Now traverse... The root beer hallway? I think? Maybe? No, don't go that way. Actually, hang on. Is, uh... With, with this, the diddler stands no chance. Please don't call him that, alright? He's the riddler, not the diddler. The diddler has, like, weird undertones, and I don't like that. It, make, it makes me think that he's about to start doing, like, banjo solos. And, quite frankly, Ridley hates music, so... Oh, that, that's... Now that's a spicy meatball. I guess you can't kill these. They're only there to be annoying. Or you can kill them with a screw. You can screw them over, but you cannot kill them. I see. That concludes my report from the sea. So I guess with this, now you're supposed to use... This to get through the hallway? Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, this fucking- this hurts my eyes to look at, though. With the screen shaking like that. No. Monster! And then, what, we're going up from here? I like the aesthetic of this place a little bit, though. This game hasn't really done, like, ruins all that much. I kind of was expecting that to be more of like a central theme with this. Considering like what I thought I knew about like the Chozo. I thought the Chozo were supposed to be like an like a race of like extinct aliens. That's what I thought they were, but like in half these games there's always like some kind of Chozo that's still around. I mean, you got the Mothman, which aren't really Chozo, but you got the Mothman and Prime 2. You got the Chozo here, two of them that attack you. You've got, uh... Okay, there's more stuff up there. Hang on. Is this... Progression? Yep, it sure is. Oh, good. This is where, this is where people come to die. I was just trying to explore, dude! Fuck! This room exists to die, and nothing else. I'd be okay if uh, no Metroid game ever does this uh, shaking bullshit again, though. Like, it actually kinda hurts a little bit. The pirates love that acid. Oh, is it acid, not lava? That's why it's, like, stinky? I guess that makes more sense. Can't withstand the power of acid reflux. But you can withstand the power of grape juice. And... Something... Water. Boulder? Yo, it's me! B -b -b Boulder! Relative bold! B -b 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 get fucked! 
where even the hell am I? Like, I'm like way over here now. I love how like far away from Ridley I keep getting. Because the game is forcing me. I was gonna loop back and try to get that missile, but uh, I guess the game's like, no. No. Oh. So then what is, what did I, what have I done? If I can't go this way. Um, no. Oh my god, this game just keeps expanding. Wait. Why would I come all the way up here for nothing, though? What? What do you mean I'm wasting my time? Uh, I don't really think I can get out of this from this direction, though. Okay. This game loves making you feel lost. <laughs> I never really felt lost in, uh, in Dread, but Dread was also... I've come to learn Dread was designed to be, like, more linear than most Metroid games. Like, they, they will uh, breadcrumb power-ups to make you, like, go the right way. Ah, uh, here we go. Wait, is this, is this really what I was looking for, though? Because this doesn't answer my problems from above. Alright. I'll see you later. See you later! So I just went inside, like, some serpent's mouth, and now I'm, like, on its claws. Big! Meaty claws. Wait, this is just for an e-tank? Not that I'm complaining. I'll I'll take more health, but I was expecting progression. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh boy. Oh, it's getting a little dark in here. Oh, this is awful. I've killed too many of the flies. What do you do about this? You just live in abject darkness? Stop holding your charge. It's a good idea. I don't know why I thought I needed it to do the, the flip, but you don't. I wish, like, it would be nice if my, like, lights lit up the area. Or, like, my... Missiles and shit. Oh, 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 that, oh, shit. Okay, so this wasn't where I wanted to go at all then. Is there more to this room here? Hmm. Oh, oh, sneaky git. I don't know why. I just kind of naturally hold down my charge in this game. I I don't really have an explanation for why I do it. Sometimes. I guess just to have a charge shot ready to go whenever I need to blast. Here's a save room. It's been actually a decent amount of time since I had one of those. You guys ready for more of that, by the way? I mentioned this the other day, but I I've been practicing in, uh, in F-Zero. I'm gonna get good at that game one day, I swear to God. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna be a top F-Zero streamer. In parentheses. He. With maybe. Maybe? Maybe? Good thing those statues respawn. That would have been tragic if they didn't. Alright, well, fine, whatever. Onward. Uh, headphones are making a weird static noise. So we can go that way. We cannot go that way. 
Norfair fucking sucks ass. Oh. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> oh god. No! No, the Grape Man! Screw tech kind of just fucks everything, though, doesn't it? Holy shit. <laughs> just completely eviscerated. Oh? Oh? What's this? More power bombs? Is this truly the end of the secrets, though? Or is there another secret within a secret? There's not. I don't know why I'm insistent on always using all of these, uh... Fuck. Okay, I guess it's just... It's a little spike trap, but it doesn't go all the way down. I thought it was gonna be more like an elevator. Hmm... Is there really nothing down there? Okay. <laughs> I was a bit suspicious of it. I was like, I don't know. What's this, TV? Yo, you guys got TV in here? You guys seen the Castlevania show? Are you, is he throwing his arms at me? The fuck is this shit? What the fuck? He's got kicks? Oh, and, and the screw tech d does jack shit to him. Uh... No. What are they doing? Are they vibing? Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Um. <laughs> guys? Oh, fuck! Oh, you have to do them when- You have to shoot them when they're doing their fucking flying kick moves? Let's remove this. Come at me! Come at me, bro! Oh, that's that. These are some stinky space pirates. Come at me! Come on! Bring it! Ninja kick! Just the power of feet. Never before has an alien been ever so powerful. So as to harness the power of feet. Truly, this is gaming's greatest feat. That pun is so spicy, dude. All the layers. See, while this, this lava here, this super lava might be like root beer flavored. It still doesn't compare to Beans Lava from Minecraft. Like, oh gee, Minecraft. Oh shit, it's Riddler time. Riddle me this, asshole. Why? Alright. You ready for this shit? The rematch of a century! Oh my god. Tale of Doom. Uh -oh. Well, I gotta make sure I don't lose more than uh, ten missiles, or like, ha or <laughs> I need to make sure I hold on to at least ten missiles, so that way I can. Uh... Why are you aiming down? Huh? Why is she aiming directly down? What, why, why was she doing that? I, I wasn't telling her to do that. I do know that like the inside of his mouth is like his weak spot. Uh, but you can also do damage this way. What, why, why does she keep doing that? Why does she keep aiming down? I, I'm not pressing down on the D-pad.
He's he's up there. He's he's bouncing. Uh -oh. So don't go into morph ball, otherwise he's gonna grab your ass. What what are you doing, Samus? What are you doing? I got like stuck there. Uh, he's got a lot of health. He's not even like changing colors here. Oh, okay. Can you only damage him through hitting him in the mouth? Uh, oh, now, now he's slightly changing colors. Okay. Don't do that fucking tail bounce shit. I wonder if they tried to ever implement that as a move for Ridley in Smash. Like the tail bounce when they were like trying to develop his moveset. Still fuck over there, bro. Bro! Bro, please! I do not wish for your graham crackers! Do I have, uh, hang on, before I die a tragic death, I have no reserve tank. Could have been his spike, yeah. I don't actually play Ridley in Smash. Uh, I tried him for a little bit. I, I've, I play, like, I can play, like, just about any character, like, not, like, amazingly, but, like, I can pick them up and do things, right? Uh-oh, I've used too much missiles and I didn't even notice. God damn it. Well, that's tragic. I wasn't paying attention to my missile count. I thought I had a shit ton more. I would have done the, the recovery thing. Also, that's a lot of progress lost. Uh, cause that save room was a long time ago. Cool. Very cool. Hmm. Ricky love this shit. Oh, Ricky fiending for more. Ricky cannot wait. Show these losers what's what? But I definitely hit him a lot, so I'm wondering... Is the only way to actually damage him is to hit him in the inside of his mouth? Because it looked like I was doing damage without hitting him uh, inside the mouth, like he was reacting to it. But I, I guess you can only do it that way. Why don't you give me some, uh, health, so that way I can, uh, kick some ass. Chew grapes, kick ass, sing songs about knuckles. The rest of them, the best of them. Go. And then through here, I'm not sure if there are any more, like, all right, we have to do this fight. I'm not sure if there are any more, uh, things for us to find. Like, E-Tanks in this area, I mean to say. Alright. No fucking kick! A little kick feet! Yeah, this, uh, this save room is very far away from the rest of them. And this, this dude just got perfect avoidance stats. Fuck a perfect block rate. Son of a bitch. Also, this room is, uh... Isn't this room supposed to be, like, really similar to the room right before Ridley? In, uh... In the original Metroid? I seem to recognize this room, like, layout a little bit. Or like, or maybe there was just another similar thing in this game earlier. Unsure. There is a thing here for me to recharge completely if I need to. I'm 
I'm sure one of these somewhere in this room is uh some kind of bullshit secret collectible that I'm not aware of as well. It's like, hey, did you know if you blow up the ceiling in this very specific spot, you can have five missiles. Oh, thanks, game. Ah. Well, I guess I could scan the ceiling for that. But even then... Nah. It's not in here. I know Jerry was saying something about there was one more collectible that I could get that I would have only known about if I 100% in Metroid 1. So then after I said, wait a minute, I think this room is out of Metroid 1. Then I kind of started putting the pieces of the pie together. All right, let's hope Samus does it uh, unnecessarily aim down this time. Yep, getting spicy. He's got the meatballs! Come on. You can do it. Open your goddamn mouth! Ah. Open wide! Dude. Dude. Dude! I don't know how to, like... Wasn't there a, something I could have done that, like, forced Kraid to open his mouth? I don't remember, but I think there was. I uh, just need to make sure I don't lose too much of my ammo here. I'm really trying to, like, exclusively only hit him when his mouth is open. Because, yeah, that seems to be, like, effective. More than, like, hitting him on the exterior. But I'm also taking a lot of stupid damage. Because I'm just, like, standing here. For half the fight. Oh, that actually did some damage, it looked like. Maybe? I, I, it's so fucking hard to tell. Also, I only have like a limited amount of time to react to Ridley. Uh, after I'm in the danger zone because he's going to do more damage. Like he does a shit ton of damage to me. Come on. Come on! Okay. Uh, what, what, what was it? What was it? Hang on. Hang on. L, R, and down, and fire button. Oh, wait, no! Oh! God damn it! Fuck! I did the fucking thing. But it didn't work. <sighs> That's annoying. That's really annoying. <laughs> That's so stupid. I did the thing, but like... I wish there was... I wish I could have like practiced it like beforehand. So that way I know what I'm doing. Because like... I feel like I'm like... I'm doing the inputs, but it's still like probably something that's hard to pull off. I think. I'm not really sure. But I am, uh, this fight is kicking my ass and kind of pissing me off a little bit that, like, your opportunity to actually do damage to him is so few. If it, if it is true that I am not doing shit to him, uh, in between his mouth not being open, then, I don't know. That's a little stinky. Hey! What the fuck? The game is not stinky! The real question is, what does the game smell like, though? What does a Metroid smell like? Really? I only ask the realest of questions. 
I would ask no such bullshit on this channel. Um, no, power bomb don't do shit. They really just layer one annoying fight after another on this one. You gotta wait for them to do a very specific attack that's RNG based here in order to damage them. If anything, it's, a, it's an effective strategy for them. <laughs> They're smart about it. They don't leave their weakness up for very long. Metroid smells like Metroid. Gabe, you make me work faster. I don't know what that means. What, 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 is, what, what does that mean? Is, is that a good thing? No, you know what Metroid smell like? Metroid smell like when you accidentally leave your clothes in the washing machine for too long and you forget to put them into the dryer right away. You finished a commission while listening. Well, that's good. I'm glad I can perform some kind of commentary that is adequate, even though I don't feel like I've been talking about much other than the pain and suffering that is Ridley's stupid fucking jokes. You know, Ridley, Ridley would be a stand-up comedian, though, when you think about it. Think, just think. What does Ridley like more than anything else? That's right, space. And what does space have a lot of? Room for improvement. Ergo, comedy is necessary. Or something. Oh god. Super Nintendo graphic. But yes, in conclusion, Metroid smells like wet socks. Two free shots there, at least. Wasn't it with, uh, Kraid it, that, like, if I shot him with a missile, then he opened up his mouth? So essentially you had to shoot him, like, twice? I don't think that's really happening here. I, I don't know what triggers Ridley to do the attack that opens up his mouth. I think it might just be RNG. Don't be stinky! Tail thing. Uh, <laughs> What's that tail doing? Oh my god, it just comes up and gives you the grab. Where are you at? I, I don't know what triggers him to do the, the roar. Sometimes he'll just sit there for like minutes on end without doing it. Spicy meatball, motherfucker! I know where you live! Uh, but you don't know where I live! Hint, it's Kansas. Don't worry, Kansas is too big, he'll never find me. Stop. I got the funny health number, please. No more. Fuck. I'm, like, pressing the wrong fucking buttons as well, which isn't helping, because, like, this fight is slightly stressful. S stop pokoing. This isn't Shovel Knight, my guy! Please! Please! Ridley! Alright. I'm gonna, like, take slight damage here. 
Or not? Okay, LR down B! Mm, LR down B! What is happening? What is he doing to me? I did it! I, I did the fucking command! I don't know what it is! L, R, down, and B. I, I, fucking hell. I did the fucking input. I don't know what, I, I'm gonna rewind here. I'm gonna eat, like, I'm going to accept the death, but I wanna know why this isn't working. Wait, what? What is this? Oh, wait. No, yeah, okay, sorry, I confused myself. L R down B. God damn it. Like, I'm going to accept this death, but I want to know why, uh, like, my input isn't working here for this. Come here and damage me. No. Nope. He fucking grabs me that time. And then, well, now, now I can't even get, like, space to do it. Like, he's be just becoming increasingly more and more aggressive. Damage me. I'm down here. God damn it, leave me alone. <laughs> I said damage me, and then he's like, okay! God. Dude. And then he does the pogo. LR down B. Hang on, there's a YouTube video. Let me look at this. Uh, see if this helps me. Because I don't understand how you're supposed to do this. Crystal flash tutorial. Ten missiles and power bombs. Yep. Got that. Um... Need to have used up all your things. You have below 50 HP. Yep. Select the power bomb. Hold LR. While you hold LR, press down and keep holding L and R. Hold down and L and R. Use a power bomb. Keep holding LR and down. Done. What do you mean, done? <laughs> what do you mean, done? God. C can I have some room to fucking breathe here for a second, Ridley? LR. This is like a really bad place to try to learn this too, though. Because Ridley is, like, way too aggressive to, like, let me practice this. Except I didn't have the power bomb that time. God damn it, dude. Piss off! No? I, I don't, I don't get it. I'm doing exactly what that tutorial says, and it's just not working. LR... Whatever, I don't give a fuck. I'm just gonna die and, and try again because that's that's beyond frustrating right now, and I don't I don't want to do that. Like I could sit here and like destroy my health out here, but then I'd have to run to a recharge point, and I don't even think there is one on this side of that lava room. No, there hasn't been one in forever. <sighs> that's. Obnoxious, but I'll deal with it. Because yeah, I, I was doing LR, because that's that's what that is. This would be L. This is LR, and then you do down. Hey, let me look at the tutorial one more time. Just make sure I'm I'm reading this correctly. I I don't know why this is so complicated. Like the instructions seem very easily. Like, very easy. Change to manual mode and empty the reserve tank. 
I mean, my reserve tank is empty. Yeah, it goes off in the tutorial. I see. I saw it go off. Um, below 50 HP. Let me, uh, I guess, uh, make my way down to the fuckery room. And I'll, I'll create, here's what I'll do. I'll create a safe state, um, down in the room that they're doing this tutorial in, which is actually, like, right in front of me. Um, I'll create a safe state before I take the damage, so that way I can have my damage back. I just want to know why this isn't working for me. I, I don't know why. Like, I'm having a weird experience with this game. Everyone always praises this game, and I, I feel like there's just something I'm doing wrong that I'm not... It's like, it's impossible for you guys and me to both know what it is. But, like, I've had a lot of, like, sour experiences with this game that a lot of people otherwise regard as, like, a really great game. And I want to be there with them, but, like, I'm just finding myself more frustrated than enjoying the game sometimes. I mean, I'm enjoying the exploration parts, but there's just some weird design choices that I think playing... Having played Dread first makes me, um, kind of a little spoiled, to be honest. Because crystal flashing isn't, like, an additional power you get. It's just something you have once you have the bombs, power bombs, specifically. Took a lot more damage that time, too. So the room that they do the tutorial in uh, is the next room here, so I'll uh, I'll do it right here. Create the save point. It's literally the exact place that they're standing. So if they jump in the lava, they take their damage, they have to get below 50 HP. Which that'll just take some time to do. Fuck that guy over there, I hate him. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna figure it out, though. Because I also want to see what it looks like. Like, or at least show it off on stream. I mean, I've seen it before, but... Is Crystal Flashing also in Zero Mission, or is it only in this game? Do we know? All right, now you can stay out there. Oh, no. Oh, okay, well, n not really either of these rooms are a safe place to be. Okay. So from here... All right, so select the power bomb. Stop. Stop mapping. Hold LR. Press down. Now hold. Oh. Yeah, well, th there it is right there. Yeah, I don't know why that wasn't working for me, though. Because I, I did that, I thought. I guess, uh, maybe my problem was I was, you need to stand first, because they started the tutorial while standing, right? So you have to do this, then do that. I guess that's how you have to do it. It also takes a second to activate. Yeah. I think that might be it. As I'm, I'm just... It's not a good opportunity down there to, uh, to do that just because Ridley is so aggressive. Um, okay, what was the button to- there it is. Alright, well I'm gonna- uh, I guess I have to just try the- the fight without doing that then. 
but we've seen it, at least. Alright. I mean, if I can pull it off, that'd be cool, but, um... No promises here. I'm also doing this with not full HP, which is kind of unfortunate. Only get like two missiles in there. Okay. As for this fight, it, like, I am doing this right by like shooting him in the mouth, right? Or is there more to the fight that I'm not understanding? It should just be shoot him in the mouth. Okay, out of my way. Oh. <laughs> right into his hands. Oh, you fit right very nice in there, Samus. Kind of wish uh, I had my energy reserves full, but before I went into this fight as well. Just a couple of extra E-Tanks would be nice. Can you, can you uh, hit him from behind when his mouth is open or is it only from the front? Okay. I like damage buffered over his attack. Oh, cool. Come on! Oh! Mmm! Spicy meatball! Stop it! Ridley? Here's my rid- Here's my riddle for you, Riddler! What is your favorite color on a scale of 1 to 10? Favorite color of the alphabet. Go! Incorrect answer. The answer is cheese because aliens don't wear hats. Fuck! I did the thing. I tried to do the thing. <laughs> uh... Um, well, I need to, like, find more health, I think. And I think what that more or less means is I need to sit there in that one room and grind the enemies until I have uh, my reserve tanks full, rather than just going in guns blazing. And you know what, chat? We've ran through this segment like four times. Allow me this one save state load to get back to this part. Uh, and then we can just... Wasn't there... Okay, this is the room where... Like right before Ridley, so... The previous room has the spot where you can actually like grind on the enemies. So I think I'll go in there. I mean, they kind of also spawn infinitely there, but... Insert ninja copy pasta here? What, the one about cheating the game? <laughs> you've not only cheated the game, but you've cheated real life! Okay, ninja. Listen, not everyone's a god gamer. Me? Gengaka. So does this start getting fed into my reserve tank now? Yeah, it does. Oh, I'm gonna set that to... Oh, whoops. Auto. There we go. The phrase, it's just a game, is such a weak mindset. You're okay with what happened. Losing, imperfection of a craft. When you stop getting angry after losing, you've lost twice. There's always something to learn, and always room for improvement. NEVER SETTLE! 
Oh, that one. Actually, never have seen that copy pasta then. What's the one about cheating the game or like you not only cheated the game, but you cheated real life or something like that? What is what is the context of that one? Just sit here and fill up my reserve tank for a minute. You cheated not only the game, but yourself. You didn't grow. You didn't improve. You took a shortcut and gained nothing. You experienced a low victory. Nothing was risked. Nothing was gained. And it's sad that you don't know the difference. <laughs> Someone comments on that. Sad exclamation point. All right, so is that... They stopped spawning health, so yeah. I'm at full. Okay. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> come back here. Worthless bug, come back here! Alright, well, whatever. I'm gonna create a, 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 another restore point, because I'm stinky. But it'll be at the beginning of this room. So, you know... I have to work for it. Like that one uh, Britney Spears song. Better work for it. You want that hot body? You want that Bugatti? <laughs> you better work, bitch. All right, here we go. The Riddler is going down this time. I don't like comedy. Oh, I like when he hits me just from floating. Like, he's not even attacking. He's just existing. Oh, there's two shots there. Got two shots. And a bitch in the water. There's a really cool looking front facing Ridley sprite there that I just saw for like a frame. <laughs> uh oh. No. Stop it. You stay over there. I'll stay over here. I'll I'll safely eliminate you without you being mean to me. Stay away from me. Oh wait, is the super bomb also doing like I thought I saw his color change there. So like is the super bomb actually effective? Hang on. It's hard to tell because you can only like summon one of them at a time. I might be I'm sure if you did a super bomb and then he opened up his mouth, that would probably work. Now I'm trying too much to do super bombs and he's not even, like, down here. Fight me! Gee, Meta Knight! Ah! Gee! I just wonder what Ridley's up to! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Come here. Stop. This dude takes a lot of super missiles to bring down. It's no wonder that Ridley is like the kind of like main bad <laughs> of the space pirates. And I know a little bit of lore about this dude, but I don't know everything. So, like, Ridley was, like, responsible for killing Samus's, like, parents or something like that, right? 
So there's three tanks worth of uh, health back. All right. Well, we're still taking loads of damage. What well, fucking hell, dude? He's he becomes extremely aggressive in this like phase of the fight too. God damn it. I feel like he's becoming that aggressive, like, because he's, like, low in health, but I'm honestly not even sure, like, if I'm getting close at all. This is a really fucking steep, like, difficulty wall, though. Like, I, I was... I've been doing a fairly decent job, I, I would say, up until now. At, like... Not being shit at this game, but maybe not amazing at the same time. This right here is fucking, like, demoralizing a little bit. <laughs> I'm, uh, I am not good at, at this game, clearly. Uh, I'd like to get more missiles, if at all possible. Uh... Preferably without taking a dip in that spicy root beer, though. What would spicy root beer, like, taste like? You know they did, like, that Mountain Dew Flaming Hot that, like, made me want to vomit? What, what, what would, what would Flaming Hot root beer be like? I don't want to think about it. Don't answer that. I know what it would be like. Awful. Okay. It's over. This is it. His final stand. Nope. Maybe. God damn. I wonder. Is it even worth doing the super missiles? Is that doing any extra damage? I'm almost thinking no at this rate. Fucking hell, dude. Come on. Come on, do your little, do your little mouthy and mouth. I gotta, I gotta figure out like how to dodge him more though. That's my problem is I'm like tanking everything he's doing. I, I, like I'm literally dodging zero of his attacks at this current moment. Every time he attacks me, I'm getting damaged. And I don't really know like where to go though. Or like how to avoid it. It's like the fire will come in from off screen and just bitch slap your ass. And like that, you can't really avoid. Like he will hunt you down, take your shoes and call you an asshole. Come on. I, I, I'm down here, buddy. Come on, buddy. Stop pokering. Oh, stinky boy, no! Is, is he done roaring at this point? A roaring Borealis? Fuck. Why, why has he gone like a whole minute without opening his mouth? His attacks are just straight RNG. This is some real nasty luck that I'm having here. He won't attack! I, 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 I can't damage him unless he opens his mouth and he literally... Won't do the attack. What the fuck? This fight is kind of dumb. 
<laughs> Motherfucker, speak up! <laughs> speak your soul! Preach to the choir, my boy! Tell us your woes! Tell us your hurt feelings! Tell us why you think Minecraft 3DS Edition isn't the most ideal way to play! Uh oh. Uh oh. Okie dokie. And then now he's gonna be like extremely aggressive. Oh my sweet goodness. Like he looks like he's like almost dead maybe. Because his color is definitely changing, but I'm out of super missiles. I wasn't paying attention. God damn it. You know what? I'm rewinding uh, to have 10 super missiles because uh, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> and I'm not getting through this fight without him. I'm probably not getting through this fight with them either. I almost want... I almost wonder if I should just attack him anyways with the missiles. Uh. Fucking no. See, look at how aggressive he is there. Doesn't that like make me think that he's like near death? I I really can't tell if you can damage him at all without him his mouth being open. Like he's flashing, which makes me think he is, but like the uh, the amount of damage that it must be doing is like minimal at best. <sighs> this is uh Yeah, I I'm I'm going to go ahead and say I'm not going to 100% this game. Just because, I mean, obviously, getting the rest of the collectibles isn't quite fighting Ridley, but... Uh... I just, I just don't feel like doing it at this rate. Once I'm done with this fight, I think I'm just gonna want to go straight to the end of the game. Because this is, like, beyond frustrating. I'm just gonna keep shooting him with random missiles and see. Maybe, maybe he still is taking damage. And it's just a placebo that hitting him in the mouth is doing more? I, I don't really know. I mean, I don't doubt that hitting him in the mouth is doing more damage, but I'm doubting that hitting him when his... Like, why, why would he flash if it's doing nothing to him? Might have to like look up like a wiki article or something about how this fight works. Cause he's also just like if the only way to damage him is with his mouth being open, he really just isn't giving you that opportunity. Which is mechanically frustrating. It makes sense, like, on a lore basis for him to not reveal his weak spot, but... Okay, you can let me go now. I don't know if that is doing anything to him. This is really dumb. What the fuck? Yeah, I, I... Oh, 
I don't even know like what to be doing differently. Oh, did I get him? Holy fucking shit. I think... I think I was doing some damage to him when uh, his mouth wasn't open. It really didn't fucking feel like it the first time, so I psyched myself out there. Oh. Okay. I guess we got all the power-ups already, so... Um... So the baby... Happy Mother's Day, motherfucker! <laughs> motherfucker! Alright, now imagine... Me doing that fight... But I didn't load the save state, and now we have about 30 more minutes... Before I'm actually... Done with it. That would have been, uh, spicy. Instead, we're just gonna be stuck in this room forever. Do you remember where the statue was? Uh, kind of. I'll figure it out. I mean, there's a little bit of exploration I'm willing to do. Um... I I'm, I'm not 100%ing this game. But there is still one more E-Tank I'd like to get at least. I, I just don't know about missile upgrades. So I, since there's literally one E-Tank, I want to find that. And then uh, make my way to the end of the game from there. I think that'll be a good happy middle ground where it's like... I didn't 100% the game, but I did a lot. But yeah, that fight is uh, kind of dumb. I still don't really know if, like, wh where the fault was there, <laughs> to be honest. It, probably me, mostly. I had to guess, but... See, I don't know what I would have done, though, if I didn't know that Ridley's weak spot is in his mouth. That may have completely changed my perspective on the fight, actually. If I didn't know that, and just, like, shot him normally, I think I probably would have been better off. I think I was way too focused on trying to hit him in the mouth. But oh well. It's behind us now, I suppose. Fucking, let's definitely save while I'm over here. Yeah, Ridley. I mean, it's a cool fight, I'll give it that. I, I like the, like... I always liked how, like, threatening Ridley was, uh, talked up to be But whenever people, like, talked about him. Like, I'll, I was like, oh, he seems cool. Seems like a cool jabroni. Uh, did the lava, is the lava still happening in this room? Yeah? We're still root beering over here. Uh... Um, interesting. <laughs> cool platform. Alright, well that... I don't think that's where I want to be right now. Alright, well, uh... I don't really know how we can get out of here, though. Because this area still isn't, like... Something I can pass through, I don't think. 
Like I, I legit didn't earn anything from beating him other than now I can proceed to the final area. Uh, but I mean, there's no way around this. Because you have to fall from above, but like, where do you even fall from? And I don't think going back into that big lava room is a good idea either. So, um, chat, you want to tell me where to go for once? Because I, I, I legit have no idea. And I wouldn't mind being guided a little bit for this one part, because I, I, I feel like I'm going to be here for hours if I try to figure it out on my own. This would make the most sense, but that fucking the barks is still here. Oh, well, not even where the last E tank is. Just like, how do I get out of this area? Is is more what I want to know. Cause I'm I'm like trapped here. I think. Yeah, cause you're not, uh... Good. I guess that's how you do it? Kind of felt... It kind of felt scummy though, to be honest. I feel like the game should have had a different way out if that's not what was intended. That basically mandated you to, to have a shit ton of uh, E-Tanks in order to get out of there. Which would make like a low E-Tank run impossible, which I feel like isn't the case. But like, how the fuck else would you have gotten out of that room? Oh, okay. Hopefully there was no uh, extra secrets up there. Uh, no way to know. Except rewinding, but I'm good. I, I don't need it. All right, well, uh... Yeah, this whole area kind of sucked ass, actually. The second half of the game just, like, becomes extremely ridiculously difficult. Or the first half of the game didn't have it. I'll cut us some slack! I've generally been saying that these Metroid games haven't been that bad after you get m multiple E-Tanks. This area certainly makes me revise that opinion a little bit. But... Oof doofly. Is it uh, a little too spicy down here for my taste? Maybe I should save. With all this low health. I do have a full um, reserve tank though, so I should probably be fine. I'm not soft locked. Maybe. Hopefully. You like that noise, though? Hmm? There's that again. Is there really, like, nothing over here at all? Yeah. Seems to be that way. I wonder how much damage, realistically, all the bombs collectively from that charge, like, release thing does. Uh, there was a little area over here. Where did that lead? 
That's a missile recharge or is that energy? I actually don't remember. I think that's energy. Uh oh. Well, rip. So close yet, so far. Yeah, this is energy. All right. Well, that doesn't fill up your uh, reserve tanks, interestingly enough. I guess that's a uh, negative to having them a little bit. Uh, I feel like there might be a couple of hidden rooms in this area that I haven't discovered yet. As for how to, like, actually get to them, I- I don't know. Let's see. Scan around with this thing for a little bit. See if there's not any, like, hidden walls or something I can go through. Nothing over there. Nope. I don't know, it just looked like there was like a weird space in between this area here. Oh, there is like a thing down here though. No, not really. It's just there. It's not really indicating anything. Okay, well, um... Back to Brinstar, I guess. There is one area in Brinstar that I know I could probably go check out for some kind of upgrade. The one that I had been going back to um, several times and references uh, Metroid 1. That area. I think that's over by where the statue is too, so if I don't find the last E-Tank there, I might just go and end the game from there. To be honest but um I do want to say you know despite my frustrations with this game I still really like this game uh, but maybe it was a pre-established bias that I already had but I did go into this game being like I think I'm gonna still like dread more and at this current moment I still feel that way um, this still ranks pretty highly. I, I would say I like this more than Zero Mission in most aspects. Um, it's a bigger game. I feel like there's, there's more variety here. Zero Mission I haven't replayed, um, more than once after that stream, so it's difficult to say, and obviously this is what's in front of me now, so of course I'm gonna feel like... Um, I'm gonna feel cool <laughs> looking at it. Does it have the sound beam? No, it doesn't. So you're right, Prime 2 is best game. You know what, I liked Prime 2 a lot. I, I... I can't tell if I like it more than Prime 1 though. In the moment, I was really frustrated about it. And then I looked back on the game and I, I grew more fondness when I was away from the game. I wonder if I'll feel that way about this game, too. Like, sometimes when I'm frustrated in the moment, I don't like... Or I'll be, like, shitty with a game that's actually really fun. And then when I'm done playing it, I'm like, actually, I, I kind of like some of the game design choices there more. Like, Prime 1 was very backtracky. Which, I mean, so is this game. Uh, so it's not entirely a problem? But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's fine, Prime 1. I, I like Prime 1 a lot for, like, the exploration is good in Prime 1, but I think I just generally like Prime 2 a little bit more. It's a little bit more linear, um, in a, in a good way, um, I, I also didn't really play Prime 1 
and uh, read all the lore stuff, though. So if there's ever a Prime Trilogy remaster, which is just about as rumored as uh, the Zelda remasters on Switch, and uh, how do we get out of this again? It's one of those things where it's like it's constantly being rumored. So you know, maybe one day it'll be real, but I don't, I don't think it actually is, to be honest, right now. Um, the place I'm trying to get to actually isn't even this way. Where am I going? Leave me alone! Stop slurping it! I think Dread is just going to be my favorite in the series, though. Uh, all things considered. But yeah, I feel like the map in this game is a little less helpful than in Dread. I feel like the movement is a really... I, I do feel like this game has a lot of clunky movement. Samus herself controls fine. Like she's she's a little slower than she is in Dread, but overall she she controls fine, like just basic movement wise. But there's certainly a lot of things like the the wall jumps that are weird and kind of difficult to get a grasp on. I'll cut it some I'll cut some cheese for it uh, because you don't need to do the wall jumps. But I mean this. This here is kind of a frustrating thing. But now I'm getting it like fairly f regularly. No, oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. Um, there's also the other secret over here that I missed. Hang on. I noted last time that I walked away from a secret that I think was over here. Uh, down below because there's that room that Jerry was like that's the exit and I was like oh okay so I'm wondering what about is there a room passage above me here no no there is not there is not a way to access that from this side well there is Definitely a room here though like irrefutably there is a room there because there's a door that comes out from there So I have to figure out how to get in there That's gonna be task number one for further exploration right now Then task two is going back to that area from before and then if I don't find a solution from there I'm gonna just go to the end As for where the last E-Tank is. I mean, the music in this game is also a high point. I want to give this game as much proper praise as I can. Yeah, see, that room is apparently an exit only because you can only fall through those. So, how do you get there, one might ask. Well, not like that, you fucking dingle thong. And nothing there. Ah, wait. Is this? Ah, yep, that's that's where you go. Okay, so this leads in here, which is somewhere I haven't been yet. Bean. And right, nothing in here. I don't believe that for a second. Super missile. I haven't ran into one of those in a while. Super missile block. Well, that's just for some extra power bombs. Okay. And then this leads... Um, I guess I can go out that way. 
There you go. Ooh. Wait a minute. Is this... Why does that go up more than it needs to? Why does that do that? Uh... Okay. This area also seems suspicious though. Like, why does it look like there's a room below me even further? No? Alright, well... We have now finally discovered the secret power bomb expansion. I'm pretty close to getting all the power bombs though too, aren't I? It's just the main missiles that I feel like I'm, I'm really short on. If there's 240 of them, like I think I have like 150. So there's a lot of those that are missing. There was the one that was down below. I never did find out how to get to that other power bomb down in Norfair. Uh, there's a couple of spots where like I can think of places to go, but I'm not sure if I want to do all that backtracking right now. Alright, so from here I'm going to go back down. And try to go down into this room near the Criteria Elevator. I'm probably going to try to play uh, Prime 3 sometime soon as well, by the way. Um, I'm not sure when exactly, but I, I don't want to wait on that too long because, you know, Prime 4 is going to come out eventually. It might come out this year. I don't I don't know if it will or not, to be honest. Um, I mean, no one does, but I, I don't even know if I want to predict that because I, I just... I can't really say. I could see it maybe coming out this year as like something that would have been announced around E3 time had they still had E3, but I don't know. Regardless, I want to play Prime 3 sometime soon so that way whenever 4 does come out, I'm ready for it. <laughs> ready for it? the soup. Give me the soup! Oh, you asshole. Okay, so now we can come up here. And we really needed the gravity suit to come through here, like, officially, so I could have came here last stream, even. But now we can go through this room. And find five missiles. All of that just for five missiles? Okay, ten missiles? <laughs> Even still. That's, uh... It was not worth it. Not at all. Oh, um, I wish I could view maps of other areas, uh, because I, I currently can only view the map that I'm currently in. Like, I want to know where I could have maybe gone in Norfair to have, uh, gotten the good shit. That I missed earlier, the, the power bomb. That oh so succulent good shit. The sweet succulent Shia surprise. Mm mm mm. Put it in a pot. Mm mm. Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Alright, as for where the actual statues were. 
Was it here in Brinstar or was it up in Criteria? That I don't remember. I kind of have to find them again, I think. It might be, um... Might be up here. Let me look at the map. Uh, yeah, it is. It's up here. At the top of Criteria. Who knew that Mother Brain's chamber was just above the starting room in Metroid 1 this whole time? This whole time! That guy just died, dude. Might as well go to my ship while I'm up here and get a full restock as well. Considering that's not something that you can always really take advantage of. There's also- you know what? There's also some areas here in Criteria that I haven't really fully explored. Because, uh, like, it would have been more advantageous to do so with the super jump that I have now. So let me- you know what? I'm gonna explore a little bit in this area, at the very least. Uh, map room over there. Save room there. I'm good for now. So I'll just save it the ship. All right. Yes, get me in that. Take me down to the river bend. Take me down to the fighting end. 130. Also, I only had 35 power bombs. I thought I had 40. Yeah, well, I know where five of them are. There's down there in Norfair. Okay. Well. I, I love when it just randomly just doesn't work, though. has a very specific rhythm to it. Is there really, like, nothing up here, though? I thought there was gonna be, like, a room up here. Is there... There's gotta be, like, a secret here, right? There's gonna be, like, a secret room? No, 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 no. Yep, <laughs> there ain't shit. All right, never mind then. Maybe over here. The game kind of intends you to come up this way a little bit. Let's see, what, what happens if I fill in the map all the way? The one thing that makes me most upset, I think, about... Oh, there's something, maybe. About the, uh... The screw attack thing is when you fuck it up, it forces you to fall all the way down. And it won't let you, like, try again. Like, after, after you fuck up the timing the first time, you just have to plummet. Which is probably the most frustrating part about it. Alright, so what's over here? We got a powerbomb door? More, more uh, root beer surprise. And a little bit more power bombs, I guess. That's fine. I'd like smack for some uh, super missiles or even regular missiles right now, though. Oh, 
What about in this area, though? Are there any other places that I haven't really explored all the way? Wasn't there a place in Wrecked Ship that I never, like, fully explored? I think... I think I need to go pay those gonk droids another visit. Also, does this have any implications? No. Gonk! Gonk! Um, hmm. Oh, I guess I could have just done this. I didn't even need to do the grapple bean stuff. <laughs> kind of forgot a little bit. <sighs> so there was that up there, but I got that. I like this Criteria music, though. I've never heard it uh, before playing this game today. Well, not today, but just, like, before I started streaming this game, I I just, for some reason, I never stumbled upon this song, despite hearing, having heard most of the music from this game. Yeah, so there's that hallway about halfway down that I never fully explored, because I went in there when it was dark. And then I tried to remind myself to go do it, and then I just didn't do it, because... Right here? Right? How do I get actually get there, though? Alright. <laughs> the hell even are those things? Gonk! And then this leads to some super missiles. Okay. Well, I I asked and so I shall receive. I'm good if it if it means I got to go back to Meridia though. I'll uh I'll pass on that one. I don't think I need to go back there anytime soon. Well, they shoot the onion rings. The mother brain rings. Brain worms. I like the S N E S S S N E S S S K Uh <laughs> Alien sound effects. Earthbound has very similar sound effects that I enjoy. See that's a game I should stream sometime too. But Earthbound is uh Earthbound is a game that I like to see streamed. But I don't like to play myself. <laughs> it's a... I mean, I haven't played it in a while, so maybe I'll like it more that I, like, actually kind of enjoy RPGs a little more since the last I played it, but... It, it's the funny, quirky RPG, but... I, uh... It, it's, it's definitely a product of its age a little bit. Nowhere near as bad as Earthbound Beginnings, though. That one, I'm good. I streamed one part of that. There's a reason why I was like, I don't know if I want to come back to this, to be honest. It's because of the random encounters in that game. Earthbound doesn't really have that problem, but... It's still a fun game. I think I would stream it one day. It's just a matter of when. It's not really on the agenda right now, though. Mother 3 is definitely something I would stream, though. Just because, of, like I said before, about, like, the rhythm mechanics make it seem like it's a fun game to play, even if you know, like, the plot of it. It's despite me never played... Ne despite me having never played Mother 3, I happen to, uh... know, like most of its plot fairly well. But I mean, having knowing a plot doesn't necessarily make the stream worse. I don't think.
But anyways, it is time for the statues. Also, I like how last time I was here, I was like, oh yeah, you gotta keep the place cold for the Metroids. No, you keep it cold for the brain. The Metroids don't like it being cold. And last, but not least, the Riddler. Everyone defeated. And so it sinks to the bottom of the ocean, never to be seen again. Credits roll. The baby was saved. Mother brain isn't even real. Samus is having arm malfunctions. Her arm is being very floppy. All right, down we go. Weird sound effects down here. So where is this? Torion. Oh, again? You're just calling it Torion again? This is a very similar layout to the previous Torion that I've been to. I think it was called Torion before, anyways. Oh, is that? Oh, that's like, that's like Frank's hot, like red hot. Oh, shit. That spicy is too spicy. That's almost ketchup levels of spicy. Not quite, but almost. Oh! Well. There's those lads. The full troids. Whom I thought we killed on SR3, whatever the fuck. SR388, is that the planet from Metroid 2? Can you only kill them with a missile? Yeah. Ice beam into missile. I guess you have to exterminate all the the Metroids in the area in order to be grant missile doorway permission or something. Still the one. Get off me! That's some that is the spicy do? No. No, it's just liquid Frank's red hot. Oh, you know what it is? Have you ever had that hot sauce that was uh called like like liquid lava or some shit? It was like made with like habanero or something. Dude, for some reason in my family, it was always just a weird flex to try to be like, yeah, I I can I can handle hot shit. Um, what's happening? How do I get him off of me? Um, sir? Sir? Uh, how do I get it off of me? Um, I guess leave the room because he won't come with me? Uh, that seems... Wow. I thought your bombs were supposed to get them off of you. No? Nope. It, nope, you're just fucked. If you get one on you, you're, you're literally fucked. That can't be right. Okay. Stop. Why are you- why did you sh lay a bomb? What? Oh my god. Shoot! Shoot! 
Fuck! God damn it! How do you get him off of you? <laughs> Stop it! <sighs> See, while I, I appreciate this game, like, having, uh, the old silent tutorial thing where like it it just expects you to, to fuck around and figure shit out uh or you know reach a manual it is also like fucking ridiculously annoying sometimes to just have to be like i i, I feel powerless i don't know what to do I don't know. I, I, I don't like... I'm noticing I'm shitting on this game a lot, but I don't really like to do that. I just want to learn why the thing that seems obvious to get him off and worked in previous games isn't working here. Which was just shoot one of these. Yeah, it... it, it. <laughs> Fuck. I thought in Zero Mission I was able to get him off with the bombs, but apparently not. You just have to be on top of your game, I guess. Just don't let them get on you. I, <laughs> these sound effects are kind of gross. There's like some like monsters like belching in the background. Bruh. Bruh. God damn it. I was trying to go through my fucking UI. I'm. Um, that, well, that time, I just. I don't even know what I did to get them off that time. I, I did the bombs. Hang on. I spam a fuck ton of bombs. Or is it take damage? Okay. Now, suddenly, now the bombs are working. Did I not try bombs earlier? I, I thought I did. Uh, what's going on? Stop doing that. Bro! Chill the fuck out, bro! What's happening in this room? Oh, good. Another chorizo. Oh. It's dead. It's had its life sucked out of it. Pile of bullshit. Thank God, I thought I was gonna have to actually, you know, be good at the game for a second there. Oh. So, like, everything in this area has had its life drained out. Presumably by the Metroids. There he is. Oh! The fuck is this shit? Beak! Oh, no. Uh oh. 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 Uh Amigo, get the fuck out of here. Uh, the baby. The baby. The baby. Uh, can I get a, a health? 
recharge. Oh, and a missile recharge. Thank you. That's spicy. <laughs> no, I, 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 I kind of already knew about that. The, the, ba the baby becomes Lorch for some reason. Metroid does like environmental storytelling, but sometimes I wish that... I'm sure most people will probably disagree with me, but... I wish there was a little bit more subtext because without the chat telling me that that was the baby and me having already known that, I would have... I wouldn't have been like, oh yeah, that was the baby! I feel like my impression of that would have been, that was just a large Metroid. I don't think I, I personally would have been smart enough to figure out what was happening there, to be honest with you. It's a cool, like, plot thing, and I like it being the way that it is, but I don't know. In 2022, I'm brain dead. I need the game to explain to me through 40 hours of cutscenes on why, you know, why the baby has uh, moral ambiguity. And uh, why maybe uh, Samus was... Oh wait, I think I'm just describing Metroid Other M, the best game. Okay. Oh good, it's my favorite screen shaking mechanic. Can I do this? Do I have to use missiles? I think I might have to. Yeah. Stop. Do I use regular missiles or do they have to be supers? Regular missiles work too, but it probably takes more of them. Yeah, so this is the onion uh, fuck zone, as we all know. The place where onion rings can come to live as they all were once designed to be. True onion morsels. What about power bomb? It gets rid of all the onions in the room, but it does not... It does not open the way. Oh, this takes a lot of missiles to get through this area. There's the fucking brain. Alright, let me, uh, do, do the onions, like, drop shit? Ow. I don't think they do. No. Alright, brain. Show me what you've got, brain! Wake the fuck up! Oh, Captain Ian! I can't wake up! Oh, this is like significantly easier than the fight in Zero Mission. Oh, wait, never mind. It's not over yet. So, this, this machine, like. Manufactures. Is like Mother Brain like a manufactured thing or like what is it? Because now I have like weird lore questions regarding this thing in regards to like there's a bunch of brains in Dread too. Easy. Dude, that fight was annoying in Zero Mission though. Ow. You're still dumb. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? What the goddamn fuck? What, bitches? Uh oh. I'm out of supers. Ridley wishes it could be this difficult. Oh, uh, out of options. Uh, you can't break those. Alright, may maybe it's gonna be difficult if you run out of fucking missiles. Because you can only hit it 
with a fully charged beam. Uh, what about power bomb? Does that do anything to it? Nope. <laughs> nope. No. What the fuck? The hell was that? What is that noise? Why is it doing that? Also, I realized that I'm not like leaned far enough back for the camera to even see me. Um. Oh, okay. We a yellow sprite gamer now. Yeah, this is uh If you run out of missiles, you're kind of boned, aren't you? I mean, you can still do damage, but it's quite a bit more like minuscule. What is this shit? Don't do that. You gotta lose your health. Huh? Huh? What do you mean you gotta lose your health? I died. How much health do I gotta lose? <laughs> I don't think it gets any more dead than dead, chat. All right, so... Uh... Can I? Here's a question. Can I break open a barrier? And then leave the room? And have the barrier still be broken? Let's see. Yes. So I can, uh. I can open the way to Mother Brain and then backtrack all the way to the missile recharge to get, uh, full ammo for the fight. I think I will do that. Yeah, cause this is, uh... This is the brain right there. So now we go back. This is some earthbound ass sounding music though. <laughs> and sound effects. Master Belch is here. I mean, it's Super Nintendo, so of course it's gonna sound a little similar. It's with all the sand in here, though. Fucking dusty as shit. Get out of vacuum. Room and dustpan. Come on. You can clean up your rooms a little bit, Mother Brain. <laughs> How much, uh, reserve health do I have? Oh, I'm- I'm full up on reserve. Yeah, I don't know where this, uh... Last E-Tank is at, though. A apparently, there's- I guess the map is indicating where Mother Brain is? That's what that dot is at the end? That, or there's, like, something hidden there. I'm not really sure. All right, well, let's save and then try it one more time. Yes, give me that save. Give me that thing, give me that thing. Wait, my missiles didn't get recharged. Oh, that's only a, uh, that's only your regular missiles that get filled up from that thing, not your supers. I just realized. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back to my ship, because those get restored there, right? This area isn't that long, and I think the Metroids are staying dead, so... Um... If I just backtrack back to my ship, I think I'll be able to... 
get all that shit back. No, you are... You, when you are in this segment of the game, you are trapped in this segment of the game. Oh, wonderful. So now I've soft-locked myself into having only seven uh, missiles. Very cool. Very cool game. All right. Uh, there's no like secrets. Uh, it's just interesting how this stuff that when you look through them deep down, they are just rocks. Even though you can see through them because they're not completely transparent. <laughs> All right. Or translucent, whatever the word is. I don't fucking, I don't, I don't speak English. I speak one language and one language only. You know what that is? Xenoblade. Monado! I'm rewinding because that was dumb. I didn't mean to use that. I've already saved over the files, so I'm kind of fucked. Unless... These, yeah, these things aren't dropping shit either, though. They're just there to, to be onion. To ring it. Straight into the ring. Uh, apparently, I'm supposed to be taking damage during that phase of the fight anyways, so... I mean, at least I got full regular missiles. That's kind of dumb, though. That the missile recharge thing doesn't actually give you full, like, complete missile. It's, it's just the regular missiles. I don't know. Kind of don't like that. Okay. Okay, dude. That takes a lot of missiles. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Not wasting that. I need to remember to... I'm, I mean, I'm at the end of the game now, so it's a little too late, but I need to remember to, to like, hit select to stop being on that menu. So she needs... Like, she needs me to be low damage? Is that real? In order to, like, win the fight, you need to be, at, like, low damage? Or is that... Japes. No. Oh. <laughs> it was japes. Ah. You have one choice in life to jape or to not jape. You have chosen jape. These are some real jungle hijinks now. Well, this is, uh, this is gamer. Wait for her to do that. Oh, okay. I, I guess I took damage. <laughs> uh oh. Just doing the thing. Is there a way to avoid it? I don't think so. I think uh, you kind of get caught in that and just die. I think uh, you you uh, you you die. When you die in the die, you die. Okay. Yeah. Oh. 
We are, uh... It's a scripted attack. Well, I understand that much. That, like, if you let her do that, that you take damage. You need a, a certain amount of health to survive it, though. Oh. So no matter what, it's not about killing her before she does the attack. It's, it's, you just need to, the health to survive. So if you're dumb and you keep jumping into her line of fire, uh, then uh, you're, well, you're dumb and you keep jumping into her line of fire. Okay. Okay, stop. Come oh, fucking Christ. You can't even like stand up on that platform. Fucking hell! I thought I was standing up here earlier. I'm taking more damage in this phase of the fight than anything. Also, I think I wasted like way more da uh things that time. Uh, missiles. I don't know how much uh, health I need in order to survive it, but. I guess you gotta get good. Oh, uh, that's the, uh, that's the, that's the beam from Prime 2. Does she do that after a certain amount of time or damage? Uh, the, the, the fuck you bean. Alright, well, all of my missiles have been used. So it's down to these again. I think it's time. Fuck. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> we should we should do this. Oh, that's some spicy shit you got there, Summers. Yeah, I feel like I wasted way more missiles on the first phase of the fight. That really sucks that you can't go back to your ship, though. There's, there's just nothing you can do about it then, huh? Oh, it also consumed all my power bombs, this attack. Alright, well, I'm just kind of stuck here. Oh, my bones is hurt. Uh, no kill, please. Don't do it! No! 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 Uh oh. Big Metroid. <laughs> Big Metroid. Uh... Oh, you got your ass turned to stone! Ooh! Yeah, so, uh... What are you doing? Oh, you're giving me... Mother Brain's energy! It's kind of nasty when you think about it. It's kind of some dirty, nasty shit. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck! No! No, don't you fucking do this to me! No! The baby! Don't fucking do this!
the baby. Now I have your power! It's like Mega Man all over again. What are you doing with your neck? Through the power of rainbows, I will eliminate the brain! I like how Mother Brain's got like chicken legs though. Which implies the real cock of the of the evils was was the brain all along. Yeah, don't be drooling on me though. You nasty. Fuck yeah. This is some weird like triumphant music. Time bomb set escape immediately! Uh-oh. Oh fuck. Well, now we going. Uh, okay. Well, it is a Metroid game. It's gotta always end with one of these. Now, how do I save the, the animals, chat? Does Streamer is save animals? Streamer does not know is save how do. Streamer is also lost in maze. Streamer don't got the memory rolls. Excuse me, pardon me. Just gonna rip, rip and tear through your whole flesh here. How do I do it, chat? Teach me. I'll save the animals if I got the time for it. Though it doesn't really make much sense how saving the animals from like a little enclosed space is really gonna help them. Isn't the entire planet about to explode? Well, I guess we did this once before and, and you know, it was only like the base. That explodes. Uh, now this... Now this is melee. Adventure mode. Alright, so where is this? Oh, this is outside the old... Uh, Mother Brain area. I think. So... They just built their old base on top of their old one? And they expected Samus to not find it? Or like, what, what was the thought process behind that? I'm kind of doing really bad at this. I think the game wants you to do this a little bit more. Uh-oh. But I'm not good at that, as we've all come to learn. It's kind of the theme of this stream. I don't know if I have enough time to save them. Where, where are the animals? Fucking animals! Where? Oh, fuck. Come on. Come on! Ah, oh, shit. Is it down here? It's gonna be down there, isn't it? Yep. Come on, you fools! Get out of here! Animals, be free! Don't, why are you standing there? Your hands on your hips! It won't let me go. Oh, I have to go out this way still. Oh, shit. Be free, little ones! Tutorial animals that didn't actually help me learn how to wall jump. Fuck you, by the way. I hate you. Oh, that's, that's fucking tense as shit. You don't get a lot of extra time to do that. What the fuck? What did it just hit me? I don't know, but we're getting the fuck out of here. Yeah, those animals are fucked. They, I mean, they were saved, but they're they're dead somewhere else. <laughs> the whole planet's gonna go. Run very fast, my friends. Yeah, that whole planet is, is, uh, doomed. All that from one little base, though? And we made it. Got the fuck out of there. 
the operation was completed successfully. Clear time way too goddamn long. 8.09. This took me longer than that to play through, didn't it? Well, there you go. <laughs> There's Super Metroid. Yeah, there was, uh, there was a lot of frustrations for me in this game, but this is still a really good game. Um, despite that, I just want to make that clear. We are not enemies just because I find some parts of this game to be a little stinky, all right? Because we all know deep down I'm the stinky. And it's really more, it really is just more of a, I feel like if I play this game a couple more times, I'll get a hang of the controls and then I'll probably like this game even more, right? So maybe if there's a time when I ever restream this game, I'll have higher praises for it. But I mean, Kenji Yamato and Minako Hamano, or however I pronounce those names, I'm sorry, probably butchered them. They did a great job on the soundtrack. I love this game's music. Um, and in general, this is this is a well-made game that is a product of its time, but it holds up mostly. I can also tell how a lot of modern games that use pixel art um, are inspired by the visual style of this game. I I can see it. It's got a good visual art style. And you know, why does Metroid not crawl? That I still haven't really found the answer to, but it's still a great game. I enjoy it. Um, there's nothing I can really say further that other people haven't already described about this game, but it's good. I like it. It's my second favorite of the three Metroid games that I've played. So it's <laughs> a lot of people that actually worked on this game, which is surprising because Super Nintendo uh, games typically didn't have very large teams. Gunpei Yakoi. Guess he was still around during that time. When did Iwata take over? Produced by Deer Force. <laughs> That's all you get. She just removes the helmet. That's it. <laughs> I took way too long on this. Oh, look, that's my symbol. Your rate for collecting items is 75%. See you next mission. Is there an alternate ending or like thing to know for 100% uh, completion? I don't really know. I know that if you beat the game faster, you get like Samus and less and less of that armor. Whoa, time to beat this game in 40 seconds. I gotta see those elbows. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this game's fine. I don't know when the next time I'm going to replay this game is. Uh, I might play it on my own time like I did Zero Mission and see how well I can do. But uh, I, I guess you're stuck on this screen until you reset your Super Nintendo. So uh, let me go ahead and do that real quick. All right, my Super Nintendo reset. Wonderful. All right. Well, oh, God, I just did something weird to my headphones there. Um. Yeah, I I thought about doing Switch Sports again today uh, for the second half of today's stream, but I think I'm going to uh, close off here. Uh, I don't know when or if I'll uh, do Switch Sports um, again, but at some point I plan on it. Um, but there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, like I said, great game. I'm glad I streamed it. I'm glad I waited to play it. For when I streamed it, because in some ways it made the experience a little better. Uh, hopefully next time I play a Metroid game, I'll be like 10% less salty. Wouldn't that be nice? But okay, thanks for watching everybody. Um, yeah, 
So, a uh, short-ish stream, I know, but tis how you do sometimes. I will see you guys on Tuesday for the next uh, stream. I don't actually um, have the schedule up here updated yet, but um, on Tuesday, we will be doing more Luigi's Mansion. So, I'll see you guys then. I'm going to take uh, today, or yeah, the rest of today, and then tomorrow and Monday off. So, uh, until then, you guys have a great night. Thanks for watching, and uh, yippee. Wahoo.